all my fellow readers welcome to Ren Reads as you can tell I'm in a different location I'm actually in my mom's car but I'm in Austin right now because my mom is getting her hair done by um, our friend Alba she's like getting it professionally done so I took this time to locate bookstores around me and I believe there's a half price there's a Barnes & Noble maybe a Goodwill and this place I've never heard of heard of called recycled books so I'm gonna check those places out and I decided to vlog along the way to see if I get anything or find anything interesting and yeah I'm super excited I haven't been to bookstores in about a month or so maybe longer and I'm not really supposed to be buying books because I'm supposed to be reading the books off my TBR and I feel like I said this in like two two videos ago whenever I did my book haul but I can honestly not say no to shopping for books so that's what I'm about to do right now and if you like these types of videos make sure you hit a big thumbs up click that red button down below to subscribe to become part of my reading family and let's get started with the video all right I just arrived at half price and I didn't know that there's a Goodwill right next to it so I'm gonna check both places out and see if they have any good books on hand but I'm gonna go to half price books first This is the biggest half price I've ever seen. Okay, so it, this is literally the biggest half price book I've been to, but today I will be looking for some Stephen King, um, some mangas if they have any. I wanna look for some classics as well and just browse a little bit and it's gonna take me a while because this place is huge so I thought these were the books and I got so excited, but it's the DVDs, which I, I actually do still want to get, but... Got a couple of books and I bought me one of these reusable bags. It's cool. It has like a whole bunch of like authors names on it. So that that was neat. All right, now I'm going next door to Goodwill to see what kind of books they got. I have to get a basket because I was getting too many books. This is like the best Goodwill ever.
oh my god it is pouring rain omg but i got all my books back there you know how like goodwill doesn't give you bags well they gave me like a box to put all my books in and so i'm all back there it is it was a lot cheaper than what i thought so some of the books have like 1.99 on them and one book had 99 cents and then another book had 3.99 and she rang them up as like 99 cents each or something so but it was even less than that because i got 21 books in total and it was literally 16 dollars like i don't know how she rang them up but i got lucky with that one because i was really expecting it to be like 50 bucks which i still wasn't like mad about but that was awesome and i'll show you all what i got when i go back home um because i got a lot of stuff i was thinking about like recording a separate video like as a book haul but i just did one so i don't want to do another one so yeah show you everything i got here in a little bit about to pick up my mom from the salon because she's almost done and yeah okay i'm back home now and i'm gonna show you everything that i got from half price books and goodwill okay first from half price books i got this cute little reusable bag it just says half price books on the side and then it has uh, multiple authors names on it like dickinson stein tolkien rowling all that jazz and i only got three books from half price the very first book i got from half price is a big thick one and y'all all know what it is it's Les Miserables or Les Mes as people say it and this one is by Victoria Victor Hugo I love the cover of this one it just has the girl and it has like a rainbow effect on the flag and this is very popular in the book community I know it can be a very hard one to read just because it's a classic and it's thick and I went to the manga section they didn't have anything like whatsoever I was mainly looking for like Dragon Ball or um the black butler or um death note but they didn't have any of that but i at the last minute i found a pokemon manga this one's pokemon arceus and the jewel of life and i haven't really heard of this manga i just looked it up real quick on good on google and it sounded pretty intriguing and it was the only one that they had there and I'm into Pokemon so I went ahead and grabbed it. This one was $3.99 and Les Mes was $3.49. And the very last book that I got from Half Price I found at the very last second and I'm excited that I did. It's Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton and I'm so excited to have found this. It's 25th anniversary edition and it's stunning. It has like red foiling letters and a dinosaur on it. And I love the Jurassic Park movies, the Jurassic World movies, they're all fantastic. I hope to find the whole collection. But yeah, this one was actually in really good shape and that's why I grabbed it. And this one was $4.99. And I don't know what my total came out to be. Um, I don't see a receipt anywhere, but I think it was like under 20 bucks. Okay, and now for the bulk of this vlog of me finding books was from Goodwill. And they just gave me this box because it was pouring down rain and I didn't want to get my books wet. So they're all fitting in here. Let me just open it up. Alright, this is what it looks like. It's a crap ton. I think I got 21 books at Goodwill and then three books at half price. So I got 24 in total and it was less than 20 at half price and then 16 at Goodwill. So I paid around like 35 bucks in total for 24 books, which is fantastic. Okay, I'm just gonna be naming these books because if I go into great detail, this video is gonna take forever. One thing I was excited to get was Stephen King um, story, uh, the bizarre, uh, the bizarre stories of bad dreams and I think this is just multiple short stories of Stephen King yeah and the cover is stunning beautiful I saw this on a booktuber channel a couple days ago and I put it on my book list so I'm glad I found it at Goodwill and then I got a crap ton of classics like I said I got The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald another Stephen King book The Green Mile I love this movie and I was super excited to have found this at Goodwill and I like the cover because it has uh, Forrest not Forrest Gump what's his actual name 
Oh my god, what's his real name? I forgot his actual name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Super excited to have this. And then one of the greatest finds that I found was The Shining by Stephen King. And this copy is actually a little bit battered, but I love the like old look it has. And yeah, super excited to read this. Then I got It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. And it's about um, like... A person going through anxiety he tried to commit suicide and he's just like trying to um, figure things out and it seemed interesting and I've seen this book talked about before so that's why I got it one of the books I'm super excited for as well is the Iliad by Homer what's the first name I don't know but it's about um, the siege of Troy and it's like a fan like a fictional fantasy book or Greek mythology type book and I love the cover it's stunning beautiful and I've heard this is really good and I think is it like a new release let me see oh it came out in 2018 so fairly new but I've heard good things about this and I don't read Greek mythology like at all so this will be a first for me then I got multiple Jane Austen books I got Oh, I think I got two Sense and Sensibility. Okay, so I got a Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility. And then I got Hamlet by Shakespeare. I remember reading this in high school and I just want to reread it. Um, and that's basically why. Then I got To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I love this series on Netflix and I've always wanted to get the books, the trilogy. And I found these at half price, but I knew they would probably be at least one or two at Goodwill. So I went over to Goodwill and I actually found the first one. And yeah, I'm super excited to have this. Alright, I also got another Shakespeare book. This one's Romeo and Juliet. And I got Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. And this cover is pretty cool. Um, I like how it says two for one Walmart because I'm pretty sure this was at Walmart years ago or whatever they had multiple copies of this one but I wanted to keep this one because it has like a library insert right here like with people's names on it and I thought that was cool and yeah so I just have the box right next to me because my back hurts okay, so the next book I got it's another trilogy that I've been wanting to start I found the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins the first book and they had multiple copies of this at Goodwill, but they were all hardcover and I wanted paperbacks just in case if I wanted to annotate and stuff. And it has like the normal text, it's not like the large text, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I got The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And I really like the cover of this one as well. He's just chilling with a cigarette in his mouth. It looks old, vintage, everything I love. Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Once again, I love the cover of this. It's pretty. Um, I really don't know anything about most of these classics that I got, but I knew that this one was raved about in the booktube community, and I wanted to get it. Next, I got Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I read this in high school, as many people do, and I just wanted a copy of it and to reread it because I haven't read it in a long time. And it's a great book. I remember it being a good book, so. Fahrenheit 451. I don't know anything about this book, really. I just remember it being discussed a lot and a lot of people liking it. The, oh, this is by Ray Bradbury. And... I don't know it just looks cool and it it looks like an easy read so yep it's a series of unfortunate events I went to a little free um, library book display at my community and they had the first book and I actually want to collect the full series I know it's like 12 books I think I don't know but I have the first one so far now I have the third one and I need the rest Okay, the next four books are all Penguin Classics. I love these type of Penguin Classics. I got 
the uh, Frankenstein from Lark and Owl bookstore a couple weeks back. And so these are all by Jane Austen. I got North North Anger Abbey. And then Pride and Prejudice. I love the covers of these, by the way. Then I got Persuasion. And Sense and Sensibility. Yeah, I didn't realize I got two Sense and Sensibility um, copies. I guess I'll just give the other one away or put it in a little library's book but yeah this is so satisfying I want to get like the whole series of this because there's multiple penguin classic copies and um this one is specifically like black spines so I like the look of this one more but yeah I have a huge stack next to me of all the 24 books I got I'm super excited. This Goodwill that I went to is freaking phenomenal. It had the best books there. I literally, they had like four bookshelves stacked with books and I literally went by one by one. And that's how I came across all these amazing finds. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Click that red button down below to become of my reading family. And comment down below if you like these types of vlog type videos because I believe this is my first one on this channel I think and yeah I hope you all have a great day or night whenever time you're watching this and I'll see y'all next time bye